Nova drag car fixes. This front leg was poorly welded originally in the front and poorly welded at the joint. It was not welded on the back side of that joint at all. We welded inside as far as we could and put this gusset, which makes it tons stronger, triangulates everything. And then added this bar, this down bar, so that in the event of a front end collision, that bar cannot get loose. In addition to that, we cut loose and rewelded this front bar until we liked it. I don't know if you can see. Cleaned everything up, wrapped it around just to make sure that we had the kind of heat that we like. Um, this is the pieces of our tubular front end, which was the whole reason the car was here. We just happened to find that. Now we've got to do some of the same stuff on this side. And I don't know if I can get a good picture of this, but you can see that's a little bit scary because that bar is not welded on the bottom and neither was the other side, but we gonna fix that. We gonna get that right. And we'll put a gusset in there. We'll do the same thing there. We'll triangulate it. We'll put a bar coming down. We'll weld a new firewall and the world will be happy. Right, Lexi? Oh, You're sharing the light with us. <laughs> it's a party. Yeah. Are we happy? Did I do getting, a good job? Getting hit. Yeah, I'm happy with this side. Yeah. I trust it. I feel like I should get out of here so we can actually like look at the whole thing. I mean, it looks like a mess, but honestly, it's a lot less of a mess. well, that that's going to hold that front down. I mean, we're worried about a front end collision here and you know, that's worst case scenario. We're also, we're going to be welding this new down shaft here. Um, we added that to the steering column. The, the steering column wasn't welded in the front. This is all worst case scenario stuff, but this car is going to have over a thousand horsepower. And while the firewall's out, we want to do all the stuff we can. We're also probably going to put another anchor to this. Uh, this is the accelerator pedal, and I don't like it hanging out here. So I'm probably going to weld something up there. This stuff isn't going to take that long. While the firewall's out, this is the time to do it. The frustrating part is we're having to grind out old welds. You can see where we've already cut this one loose um, so that we could see what was going on. We're dealing with old wells, dirty metal, and wiring. So we've already we've already dealt with that, but um, when it's buttoned up, it's gonna be clean fabrication. You know, I feel feel really good about being able to redo this horn with our welder um, to our temperature and just know that you know we, we did as, as good as we could. We might even we might even be able to put a gusset in there. I just don't know if we'll have time. We're also on a timeline. We, we welded the back side of the, all that stuff in there, the gussets, everything. That gusset's welded on both sides, which should really triangulate and make things a lot. A hell of a lot better. A hell of a lot better. So, and this car's got a pretty big tire. Let's see what we got here. How big is this tire, Lexi? Something like that. Yeah, 1,000 horsepower turbo, 88 millimeter turbo LS. I want to name this car Roxy. She's kind of spicy. She kind of spicy. We've got a Nova like this. Roxy's, she likes to get down and party sometimes. Oh yeah, with a guitars and cars sticker on the side of it. Oh, and, and we've already uh, attacked, well, I don't know if you can see that, if there's a light. We made our subframe connector. Yeah, that was really dirty. And we're still gonna put some gussets up there on the front of that four pan brace. But this guy is now way better. You can see the other side, what the other side is that we've already cut out. It's like a little two inch bar. It's cracked. Yeah, this is, this is two by four American steel right here. I hope it's American steel. I bought it in America. How do we know if it's American steel? American steel. America. Yeah. So, life gives you lemons, get some vodka, make a martini.
Stargate 71-23. We've made some progress on the Nova, the Supernova. And we're exhausted. Where do I start? Well, let's start with safety concerns, okay? Now, it would be real easy to throw the person under the bus who did this car, but it's probably been built by five different people. The car was together. Maybe it was just a uh, really simple drag car in the beginning, and then it ended up turning into something more. That's probably what happened. So it kept getting built on and built on and built on. And all this stuff was together. And, you know, so some things slipped through the seams. We feel like we have rectified most of that. So I'll start here from front to back. We had to cut these bars loose. We had to extend this front frame for our new tubular cross member. And now you can see that it's all welded back nice and pretty and we really heated that up. We feel good about it. We cleaned the inside and out of the tube as best we could. Did the same thing on this side. So now we have a new tubular cross member everywhere. And we feel great about that because it's chromoly, saves some weight. This is what the customer originally came to us for. Now let's move on to the challenging parts. These bars here, which we'll call them front legs, they were not welded up inside. Um, this bar was something we added because of that. And we went up in here and can you see? Kind of we get added some close a gusset. Ups later. Yeah, we'll do close ups on that. We added a gusset. Then let's, uh, what that does is that we believe if you hit the wall in a thousand plus horsepower automobile going over 100 miles an hour, which this one you know, we'll speculate will do with the 88 millimeter turbo, turbo um, we don't want this to get loose and become a harpoon. So it was just welded on the top side, probably because somebody, the firewall wasn't out whenever they added that, they just stuck it through the hole and did as much as they could do. I don't know what the ratio is of welding if three quarters on around the bar is good enough, but we now have 100%. The bar was old and a little dirty, so it wasn't the cleanest weld we ever did. We turned up the argon on the MIG and rocked it anyway, and the gusset triangulates everything, should make that very safe. Then over here, we added stability for the steering. This was not welded to here, so it was welded in the back, but if something pushed that steering column up and through, if the car wrinkled up, we were worried about this getting loose and again, hurting the driver. Well, there's less of a chance of that now. Nothing's perfect, but there's less of a chance of that now. Same thing on this one, this front leg. We now have the new bar in here, and um, I believe that's inch and three-quarter DOM, which is really strong stuff. That's what they use in NASCAR. And we use a little thicker wall than what they use in NASCAR. I think NASCAR has 083, and I think we use 125 or, uh, or 095. It's, it's, a, it's a thicker wall, so we were able to use a lot of heat, get it in there on that old bar. We were able to get in here and clean this nice, so that worked good. We did two gussets on this one. This was the worst bar and it was the biggest concern because it's right beside the driver's left leg. So we put what's called a taco gusset in there. Uh, there's some better pictures that uh, we'll post on that and a triangulated gusset on top of that. So now we're feeling good. We might even go back and make another bar here if we have time, but we are running out of time. In the floor, we have a new floor patch. You might want to walk around and get I the, got better pictures later. You got better pictures inside there? Yeah. Right here was a hole. And holes in the floor are not preferable, especially when you're going 100 miles an hour and things are blowing up through the floor, wind and all this stuff. So we now have a new floor pan patch. Uh, it's got a little bit of our signature bead rolling on it. We would have liked to have spent a little more time on it, but it's, it's, it's perfectly fine for this. It looks nice. Everybody's happy, customer's happy. Um, we have a new brake setup where this master cylinder mount is safely connected to the steering and to the other bar on the inside and up here in the cow. What else, man? We, uh, we have been, we got subframe connectors underneath. We're getting ready to put the firewall. So the next video I do, we'll talk about the firewall. You'll get to see this completed and uh, everything will look all nice and welded and clean, hopefully, and we'll paint it, we'll seam seal it and everything but we call this girl roxy the owner does not call her roxy yet but we may persuade him so roxy's a good girl she's had a lot of uh a lot of partners in her life and we're just trying to get things set on a good straight path make a respectable, <laughs> respectable <laughs> race car out of her and we feel like we will um 
all this wiring is going to get rectified as well. So you know, um, yeah. And then he'll he'll probably try to get that cage in there certified, which we didn't do any of that. Hopefully it'll certify. If it won't, we'll have to come in here and cut some bars out and read. It's it's funny because you can tell by the welding that not the same person did all the welds and uh you know that's the sort of stuff where we're trying to at least from here forward we're just trying to get consistency on that so you know because we have a, a pretty high comfort level with welding on uh on mild steel it's not like it's got to be tig welded titanium or something like that on a 300 mile an hour uh, land speed car so yeah we're, we're feeling pretty good about this and we we also had some subframe connector issues in here that we, we leveled out this front of the car. So everything's looking good. So the next time you see this, we'll have a package up firewall. It'll look like a car again. And then Roxy will be dressed. <laughs>